morning, Klaus. How are you? Good. Good. You know where we're going today? You are familiar with In N Out. Today we are going to a knockoff version of In N Out. You gotta get a closer look at these bad boys. <laughs> So the place we're going today, it's called Cali Burger. Its original concept was absolutely to mimic In-N-Out Burger. In fact, In-N-Out has gone out of their way to try to knock these guys down through lawsuits and whatever else. Surprised nobody's died yet. The first Cali Burger opened in 2012 in Shanghai. Since then, it's expanded to 30 restaurants total with four in the United States and only one of them in California. And with only one location in California, I don't know. You know, the place is called Cali Burger. Put two in there together, I don't get it either. Now, the headquarters for Cali Burger is actually located in Diamond Bar, so it is a U.S. company. Cali Burger has gone so far to imitate In-N-Out, everything virtually looks the same. They even have a secret menu like In-N-Out. Up until recently, you used to be able to order animal-style fries, which is a trademark of In-N-Out. In-N-Out finally won that lawsuit, and now they call it, I think, wild-style fries. The one single location in California is in Pasadena. It's about 100 miles away, and that's where we're going. I'm so curious to see how this place stacks up versus in and out that we're going to make the trip. Klaus feeling patriotic today. Giving his flags. Gave me one too. Why? So we can ride around showing our patriotism. <laughs> America. Put that back in there before I put my out. Hopefully it doesn't fall out, man. You don't want that flag to hit the floor, right? God bless America. Pretty sick setup. Rubbing its wealth off in everybody's face. Yeah, I got a gangster RV. And my tow car. It's a Hummer. Nicely done. We're going to make a quick little pit stop. We're going to drop some stickers off to the guys over at Two Brothers Racing. Take it easy, buddy. What the fuck are you doing? Here's some stickers. Do. Put them in each exhaust sold. One per exhaust sold. All right. This is the guy you guys are talking to whenever you go to buy the exhaust pipe. So be nice to this guy. Be nice to this guy. Just say good things about the car. You're going to give everybody a discount? Real good deal? Real good. All right. Good man. The staple came out and the other one was about to come on. I already have. Oh, where'd mine go? He's got a little light. It works too. God damn, that guy wanted to get way over. Wanted me buy him. Uh oh, I lost my flag. Uh oh, my phone's all jacked up. GPS doesn't work. So I'm leaving it up to Klaus to get us the Cali Burger in Pasadena, but it might have been a bad decision. We'll see though. He wants us to get off here. I know we're nowhere near it. Are we lost? Of course not. He knows where we're going. What else would we stop at a gas station just after we got fuel? You think we should have taken the sign that said Pasadena? What was wrong with your phone and gave it to mom? Maybe so. Uh, you know what? It's because I bought one of these suburban delinquent phones. Mm-hmm. About 15 minutes away, 11 miles. 15 minutes, 11 miles? All right. Thanks, buddy. Can't believe I lost my flag. Damn it. I tried so fast, man. It's hard to keep up with him. Oh, he's lost again. It's with all the green. So you're lost again? No, we're on the right path. It was it said turn here, I remembered that. Forward, right on green, and that's it. This is a green street. It was Bleecker Street. The Simon and Garfunkel song from the So you're not lost. Yeah. Well you know where we're at. Okay. Oh shit, a baby. Oh, the baby's not in it. Someone's a really bad parent. Kid must have outgrew it overnight, huh? It's either a really good thing or a really bad thing to see that baby. This is gonna crash. What the hell is happening here? Let's 
compared to shit. <laughs> That's a nice bike. Oh, Green Street. Class was right. Oh shit, there it is. Cali Burger. Cali Burger. Cali Burger sucks to park at. Well, we made it to Cali Burger. I don't have a lot of faith. I kind of don't either. I'm an In-N-Out fan true and through. <laughs> Class Cali Burger. So the cost was a little high, but the burgers were bigger, and they had that bourbon shake that was pretty good. They did have a bourbon shake. That was a damn. You can get shake. drunk here if you wanted. Yeah. So In and Out or Cali Burger? I gotta do In and Out. I gotta say In and Out. Honestly, I'd go to either one, and I'd be just as satisfied. You know, I'm not totally down with supporting copycats, but you kind of have to try it, right? It's America. You gotta have a choice. Just like I'm not the only idiot making videos on YouTube or riding around my motorcycle. You guys have a choice to watch me or somebody else. So it's kind of nice to have choices out there, right? Plus, when you have no competition whatsoever, you tend to get stale. When there's competition around, it really puts you on your game to do better. Like they say, the hard part isn't getting to the top. The hard part's staying at the top. Thank <laughs> you.